Here is our new bench in the garden, around the fireplace. It's more than 3 meters long and I will show you how I built it. Some time ago I already built these side legs with armrest. And now I have decided to make the bench twice as long by inserting also the middle legs. Firstly I cut the rear leg post and then the throttled leg. Now I will be cutting the side rails. In this case the side lace will be on both sides because I am doing the middle legs. Now I will cut this piece of hardwood in half. I am doing that by several passes to avoid burnt marks. As you can hear now I finally bought a new microphone that I needed for such a long time. I'm marking the position of the rail. To join the side rail with the leg I am here removing the wood by a row of shallow cuts. And then I finish with a chisel and a mallet. It needs to be few millimeters wider. Here I'm marking the correct width. And such tight joint I was aiming for. And the same thing I have to cut from the other side. Here you can see that the first rail is already in position, so I can clearly see the correct angle before I start cutting. And those three pieces will be later tightened together by a longer bolt. And this is where I am at the moment. Next I have to attach the side rails to the front leg. For front leg I just need one cut and then a big hit with the chisel. Again, to see the correct angle of the cut from the other side, I have still in place the first side rail. Next, the manual work again. And this is what it will look like. I have three pairs of legs. Now I will drill holes for bolts. For the rear leg I have used the drill press. For the front leg I just did it by hand on the floor. And look what I did. Look at the front leg. It's upside down. Completely wrong. So I put the front leg into the correct position. Of course the original hole did not fit. So I had to drill one more hole. But it's not visible. So I will not tell anybody about the mistake. Here I am defining the angle. 
actually this is half of the angle of the real angle of the bench and also removing this big knot those are the rails from the bottom where I will hide all the nuts this is red oak and this will be the first half of the bench I like the natural edge of the board and now I am already outside with my cheap, dull and weak jigsaw trying to cut into the real oak Finally, it starts to look like a bench. And the same way on the other side, marking roughly the radius of the leg, cutting with the jigsaw and then sanding to the final fit. drilling holes for the carriage bolts. And this is the cutout for the back leg post. To get the correct fit I had to mark few times to cut few millimeters. Then I have to attach the backrest. So I clamped it into position, drilled the pilot holes and tightened the screws. This was a try to drill with one hand and to hold the camera with the other hand. This is already on the other side of the board. But on this side I have this big angle, so I cannot place simply the bolt that's why I created such a big wedge here. And now drilling through the board and also through the wedge. And longer screw will be applied here. Finalizing the bench, the next steps were clear. It was sanding, sanding and sanding and sanding. The boards are not exactly straight, so I will put from the bottom one middle stretcher. It's also made of oak. I've marked the position where I have to drill. 
and to use this white tape as an indicator not to drill too much. And after tightening the screws, the misalignment disappeared. And the last step was two coats of varnish. And it's done, ready to use. And this is what it looked like before we had the family bank. And this photo was taken before the before years ago and this is now that's all thank you for watching